while I'm killing time in my dog gift shop, I'm going to go ahead and make some flip over the collar dog bandanas for the Schnauzer and Poodle that are coming tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. And I'm trying to use up the rest of the St. Patrick's Day fabric. So we're going to have green plaid on one side and green dots on the other side. I'm going to have a small for the Schnauzer and I'm going to have an extra small for the Poodle. So I'm just going to trace these templates and cut them out. It's Monday morning and my schnauzer and my poodle are both here. I'm going to get started with the schnauzer's bath. And when he's completely dry, I will start on his haircut. I use a storage bucket with drills holding the... I use a storage bucket with holes drilled in the lid to lift the dogs up. And the holes are so the water can drain through. So I'm going to go ahead and take his jewelry off. Warm the water up and scrub him down. This guy just gets a nice short haircut, a very short schnauzer face, number seven blade all over. I have the schnauzer washed and about halfway dried, so I'm going to give him a little break. He's sitting in his cage with a little towel, and I'm going to start his friend, who is a miniature poodle, and he has had cancer a couple different times, so he only has three legs, but he does pretty good. He's a little wobbly, but he does good. He's got some really hard, crusty eye boogers. So I'm going to go ahead and use my human lice comb and just loosen him up while he's in the bathtub. I, I don't need to rip him out or anything. I'm just going to pull him away from the skin. So when I'm grooming him, when he's on the table, I can just shave it out. I just got to pull it away for now. I'm getting ready to get the schnauzer out and do his haircut, but first I gotta get his bandana ready. So these, these are the ones I made yesterday because it's St. Patrick's Day, they're green and it has a little bow and this just slips right over his collar. He doesn't know he's wearing it. It's super comfortable and super adorable. And it's reversible. If they don't like dots, they can put it on this side. All right, let me go get this guy out and get started. 
This guy, when he's scared, he won't stand up. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he does. He does that uh, for the blow dryer too, in the tub. He's pretty good on the table. But a lot of dogs, I don't know what it is about being blow dried in the tub. They don't like it. But then they're fine out here. I wonder if it like kind of the sound is different. Like if it echoes because of the walls, you know, because of their hearing is so good. I don't know. But they're much better on the table for blow drying. So let's get started. Okay, well, he doesn't like the blow dryer, so I'm done with that. <laughs> I have my seven blade oiled and disinfected. I have my fan on because he doesn't want me to blow dry him. So this is gonna help dry him as we go. He's still a little bit wet, but he's just getting shaved. So that is not a big deal. I'm gonna put my mask on and start his haircut. And by the time I get to his face, it should be dry, but I I'm not going to blow dry him if he's doing all that. So I just trimmed up his back foot and cut his back nails. I'm working my way around to his front leg here. Just gonna go over his leg one more time with a seven blade and he is not a fan of having his leg shaved. He just wants to curl up in a ball so I am just holding on tight and doing it anyway. He is ready to go. He's got a nice short schnauzer beard. I'm gonna get a fragrance-free baby wipe and some conditioner and some water. Wipe him down. Knock off all the loose hairs. I've cleaned his ears. All his nails are cut. He's nice and short all over. His beard gets matted up very easily, so they like to keep it short. Gonna wipe out the corners of his eyes, make sure they're nice and clean, dress him up, and his little poodle friend in the back is next up for his haircut. So, here's your bandana. I made that just for you. You like that? Yeah? Does that smell good? Okay. Tell everybody thanks for watching. Nope, you gotta pick your head up. You have to pose first. Pick your head up. Show everybody how cute. There we go. Okay, let's go. Before 
I bring him out, I have to get his collar ready. Find his bandana. There it is. Okay. Just slip this over his collar. Get that ready so I'm not like trying to do all kinds of stuff when he's on the table. So that's ready. Okay, I'll be right back. He's dry so we can just get started with the number seven blade all over. Put his head in here so he doesn't jump off the table. Okay, just switch blades. So he is getting, he's a poodle, but he's getting, um, he's getting more of a round face with shaved feet. He's getting poodle feet, which is a little, a bit of a challenge since he only has three legs. Because if you lift one leg, he falls over, but we get through it. <laughs> and he's getting a little round pom-pom on his tail. Just gonna shave the base of his tail and trim up his tail nice and round. Just neaten up his ears and dress him up. My second dog of the morning is ready. I'm going to go ahead and spray him with some conditioning spray. Wipe him down with a baby wipe. He's got his pom-pom on his tail. His ears are trimmed up. He's got a small top knot and a short beard. And I'm going to get a little water and make sure his eyes are clean. Wipe his eyes out. Yeah, those hard eye boogers that were easy to remove because I pulled them loose in the bathtub. Okay, you're ready. Let's dress him up. Let me get his bandana. Look what I have. Do you like this? Do you want to wear this? He's not interested, but you're going to wear it anyway. Okay. Show everybody how pretty. He did pretty good. I mean, for only three legs, I could tell. I mean, by the way, he's panting. You can tell he's getting tired, but um, he did very good.